was at Fort Benning, Georgia. Uh, we got done with boot camp, and they said you can go home for 30 days before you go to your next post. And so I went to get on a plane, and they were all filled up. Back then, there was about 500,000 GIs. Right. And I went to get on the uh, bus, Greyhound bus, and they were all full. So I said, well, I'm not staying here, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I put my uniform on and duffel bag and started hitchhiking. I got picked up by a guy, make a long story short. He took me to Nashville and we got out. And he said, I'll, I'll get you a plane. And we, we went into the Nashville airport. His people started coming up to this guy and asking him for his autograph. And I looked at him and I said, who the heck are you? He says, I'm George Jones. Really? <laughs> yeah. So that, that was uh, one of my highlights. <laughs> Walking through the first couple of months, how did that go? Like? Well, we got there and uh, they took us to a location called Swan Lock. And there was nothing there, it was all jungle. He said, this is your home base. But we had to cut trees down, put sandbags up. We spent about two months securing that area. Hmm. And uh, we didn't spend a lot of time there though, we were on the go. Yeah. Every major campaign we were in during '66 and '67. Wow. So, that picture there, we we bombed the village and which one? Well, who's that, that kid? That's a little Vietnamese girl. Huh. Wow. You're a young man. How old are you in that picture? Nineteen. Wow. We um, killed her parents and uh, we were going through the village. I heard her cry. It's okay. What happened to her? The Red Cross took her, and I never saw her again. Yeah. 